Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Bullseye, he has entered the contest. He is in the featured arena right now, and we have Sorcerer Supreme, who has been around for a while. And if you watch my recent opening, you know that I got her as a seven star. And uh, she's not bad, I don't use her. She takes a little bit of ramp up, and uh, just not my style but she's actually not a bad champion. Uh, however, I doubt people are gonna really want to grind a lot for her. Um, Bullseye, on the other hand, seems to be solid. Uh, I did not go for him even as a five star, uh, and I'll talk about that later. Let's go over to the leaderboards. Uh, look, what, what, why they got him like that? You see him? Why he showing his booty? I don't know, anyway. Um, here we go, Sorcerer Supreme. Let's take a look at the leaderboards here. And uh, as usual, I just went for a little bit more than the milestones. Uh, don't really care. 11 to 30% is all uh, I care about, really. Um, the units is the main thing. So even if I didn't get the 11 to 30%, I'd still get the units because I got all the milestones. Uh, and let me tell you something. I procrastinated bad. I finished the Summoner Trials arena with literally seconds to spare. And I had to uh, boost. I, um, I was going to do it yesterday. Didn't really feel like it. Was playing Albion Online, if you uh, know about that game. It just sucks me in. Um, and then I was like, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll do a little bit before I go to bed. And then uh, Sunday morning, I'll do it. Yeah, that didn't happen. And uh, <laughs> I was playing Albion online till late in the morning. Not as late as I have in the past, but a little bit late. And went to sleep, woke up, went back to sleep, and didn't get up until close to noon. Now, I had only put in I think 2.6 million is all I had in the Summoner Trials. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this, but let me get as many units as I can. So I opened up some crystals, boosted, and literally seconds to spare, I was able to get all the milestones there. Um, I got to stop doing that. Uh, but anyway... Uh, this champion, I've done a video on her uh, a long time ago, and um, because I run the Recoil Masteries, we try to avoid saying the other one because YouTube doesn't like it and they do things um, to hurt you, but because she has a little bit of ramp up and she has to um, fire lots of specials and she gets stronger as she does that. That's like the opposite of what you need your champion to be when you run those masteries. Now, if you're not running those masteries, oh, and I've seen people do some crazy stuff with her. So I know she's not bad. Now, with the current meta, you've got better champions now. Um, they might tune her up to uh, help her catch up. But for now, I don't really see a reason to use her in any of the content um, that we've had lately. So while she's not a bad champion, I don't see myself using her for anything, but you never know. Um, we just have so many other champions that outshine her, really. Um, sorry if I missed your name. I'm trying to go a little bit quickly. Um, I have like maybe 30 minutes, uh, to do a whole bunch of stuff and I didn't even make my videos. And then, um, my sister's going to want to watch some stuff later. I also have to do battlegrounds. Uh, I'm still well below. I think I'm the lowest one right now. Score. 350 is the. Uh, minimum, and I think I'm at a hundred and something. 
So I've got to, you know, grind that out today. And I may also um, do a, a video, I mean, a stream, Battleground stream on Tuesday. So we'll see. All right, let's see this booty boy. All right. Uh oh, Laser John. Congratulations. I guess he wanted Bullseye bad. Rank one. Okay. Laser John is killing it. Wonder Wolf. Congratulations. Slap effect. Johnny Fat Boy. All right. Are you fat or are you fluffy? Dragon Slayers. Okay. Milo. Hmm. That name sounds familiar. J4 is awesome. He's cool when he's part of a team, but he's not in an alliance right now. Hmm. But what's up, man? Shasha boom. So for you guys that might be watching this and didn't see it, I did do a path in uh, Necropolis. Got my completion rewards. We had a video, I think, already out. Um, it was not bad. Uh, I don't know. I did the easy path, so I don't know how bad the other ones are going to be. Uh, I have enough units if I just want to do that. I don't like really grinding for um, revives. And I'm not really a big fan of content where you're forced to use revives or units to get through it. Uh, it's designed that way. I don't like that. Now, if you're at the really high end of the skill, you can avoid that. You know, or at least, you know, minimize it. But that doesn't change the fact that it's designed that way. And it is also why I'm having so much fun in Albion Online. And when I start thinking about this and playing that, it's a little bit, you know, it's like, okay, you get through the content by you die a lot, but you just push on. That's not really all that fun, you know? Now, some some stuff I've found uh, really fun. Uh, like, oh, FinTech, congratulations. Uh, if you guys watch me do the final um, Karina challenge for the Deathless Guillotine piece, I fought Cervantes, or, or Savastes, I think. I want to say Cervantes for from um, Soul Calibur. He, I loved Cervantes, uh, but this is a uh, Cervastes, and I love that fight. That fight is fun, and if you watched me, you could see I was having fun with it. That is an enjoyable fight. Now, see, that I don't mind. That kind of fight is not designed for you to die a lot in order to get through it. Now, you may. I ended up spending a, a you know few revives on it, but I could honestly say that, you know, at least two of those was just me. Yes, I had some input issues and some mechanic issues, but still, it was enjoyable. You know, I didn't feel like the only thing I could do was die and then die again and get a bit off each time as I died. Speaking of that, we have raids where they are following the exact same mindset. Raids are not designed for you to be able to solo anything, and you're going to die quite often, okay? Um, and I know that uh, this is not anything new. This has been for a while. And, um, and will probably continue to be. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the raids right now, but I have hope because this is only the first, um, implementation of it. They're going to be collecting feedback and they hopefully will address a lot of the pain points. Now, some of the things I've, I've seen them adjusting Alliance war and all of that, 
but they've already said they want to make it more difficult. And see, for people that enjoy war, they're loving that. They don't want it easy. They want it difficult and challenging and more competitive. So more power to them. I've never been a fan of Alliance War, and nothing that they're doing is making me uh, more of a fan. Um, but raids, I could see raids, if they tweak some things, I could see raids being fun. They're not fun right now. We're actually on the final um, boss, Ultron, and I can't really do anything. There's not really much I can do. Um, I, th I took in Titania, and I've gone in there now a few times, and, and here's what happens, you know. Now, of course, I'm running the recoil masteries, and to get your missions done, you have to fire alternate specials. So lots of specials. Doesn't work real well, does it? And once you've died, even if you try to use a small revive and go back in, you're not going to be able to do anything at all unless you heal all the way back up. So not really a big fan of that. Um, I don't think I took off anything these last uh, couple of times I went in. Uh, the block damage is insane. I went in and I was, you know, full health and I'm alternating my specials. And I'm like, okay, I can at least get, you know, some uh, damage in. And he got a pierce or two or something and some furies and one shot me, one hit into my block and I was done. That's ridiculous. That is not fun. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it, guys. Tell me how you feel about both raids and about bullseye, because uh, this video should be showcasing bullseye. Um, bullseye is recoil mastery friendly. So he's definitely one that I would like to get, but he didn't look so exciting that I felt like I had to grind for the six star. So I will wait for him to come around. Uh, I did not go for the five star this round. I probably won't go for the five star. I think I'm going to stop uh, trying to get the uh, five stars. Uh, we'll get them when they come around uh, to the basic. That's when we'll uh, pick those up. Uh, just make my life a little bit easier, especially since I'm trying to play Albion online as well. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.